Hey guys, a application that is kind of like Trello. Right now it has like these boards and then there's items on not exactly Trello and I want to expand and make way different features, but it's kind of similar in nature. Now, and I kind of want to take a step back and how I'm architecting this and why I'm architecting it the way I am. Right now there's two parts of it. There's uh, what I call it, which is the back end and rows which is the front end. I'm gonna make like this little readme. I'm gonna add those and just want to talk about what the art was the tech stack of uh, this application, why I chose in depth on it. In this video I'm just gonna hit up why I chose uh, one of these, why I picked it. Um, videos I want to deep dive into maybe some different reactions. I chose those. Um, and just kind of like the thought process when I'm building this thing, why I'm choosing it to do the way I'm doing it, how pieces all are all working together, and kind of just give you a little bit of full knowledge, not just how the code is working. So what I do is talk to you about each particular part, why technology. So let's just start with the back end. What I would call the back end and what I would call the front end. The front end because this is pretty basic. Uh, or there's less stuff. On the front end, I'm using React, um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm using. You could say I'm using HTML uh, or CSS, I suppose. Um, but pretty much, React is the front end and the front end framework. Why did I choose to pick React? Now, before I'm through with each one of these, why I picked it. Before I go into each one, my philosophy behind picking technologies, picking frameworks, is just try it. Just try. Uh, one, see if you like it, and if you don't, switch and start ones. So this is actually the first really front end, for, but I liked it so much that I was like, I'll switch to try something else. So Vue or Angular, but React works good for what I'm doing, and I I don't really feel the need to change. I'll keep this in mind. I the way I pick technologies too is I switching the next day. Like if I feel like tomorrow is way better than React for some reason, I'll switch in a hard pass and just totally switch to a different framework if need be. But right now, I'm loving React and I'm not really having any problems. That's the other thing. Um, I, if I'm having problems with something, I'll probably be researching how these problems might be getting fixed and I might learn little things better and so then I might switch frameworks. But I learned Mac.js first and I just love I pretty much picked it because it was the most popular um, and I liked just the look of it when I was first starting and more functional programming like paradigms in it um, so that's why I learned that so now that I know that very well and I'm enjoying it that's why I picked it for anything else for the front end right now um, these two um, react and Postgres I would pretty much for all applications right now I'm really loving both of these so that's why I chose react basically I really like it. I love programming in it. I feel like the performance is good. Um, I enjoy developing it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick that up. Um, so right now I'm on React. This might switch in the future, though, right? I mind switching anytime I feel that React. I'm not enjoying it. So now onto the back end. Why did I choose this trio of things? These guys are kind of like a package, actually. So on um, note, I actually don't like JavaScript that much. Uh, I don't like the language as much. I like React, and I love. I actually like the new JavaScript features, um, so that has kept me enjoying JavaScript a little bit more, not like hating it. But like for backend, right? Um, but I'm using a different uh, server. So this is, like, this is the database that I'm using, and I should actually add a little new database I'm using. This is the server that I'm using. This guy's like middleware, and this is the front end. This is the front page. All right, so. Why the heck did I like these guys are for actually? So Express is a JavaScript uh, backend framework. It's a Node framework, and the really the only reason I'm using Express is it works so nicely with GraphQL and it makes it so easy. I literally have to write so little. The code is so small for this. This is the code for the most recent version. Uh, this is one line. So this is 141 lines. Uh, and this is all the server code I need. And this is not even like a lot of this like, extra stuff, right? That I don't need. Like I'm not even doing Facebook. That's a good like 40 lines. But like this is super short up, and I have an Express server running 
really nicely. And I love uh, Apollo. Apollo data that I'm using, the GraphQL library that I'm using, uh, they, they pretty much made this little endpoint that I'm using. It's graphical and the GraphQL Express. That's what I'm doing. And it's just so easy that I love using it. And I've had no problems with it too. Right? Maybe I'll go look somewhere else. If I was if I had to write more code, um and if if I wasn't using anything, the real reason I'm using Express, uh the reason I'm doing JavaScript in the back end is because I really want GraphQL. Like really, really, really badly. GraphQL so much now, I like it so much better than doing a null back end that this is a must right now for me. Or any new project without GraphQL. So adding GraphQL is so easy. Like the best library right now for script library. Like it just has the most features. Um, easy to set up resolvers and your schema and stuff with a uh, server. Now, don't get me wrong. The other ones are not hard. They're decently good too. But like for example, on for the back end. But like gra so the graphene is, well that doesn't even support subscriptions or at least it wasn't easy. That's the other thing. Uh, this supports all the GraphQL really easily. Subscriptions, no problem. A couple lines and you have it. So it just works so well with GraphQL and I'm using Express. If for some reason I did not want to use GraphQL, I would use Elixir. I would at least experiment with Elixir um, in the Phoenix framework. I don't would know if I would pick that for sure because I haven't done enough with it, but I've heard good things and I like that style so I would give that a tr but literally right now the only reason I'm on Express is because it's writing much Express code. Like, I'm not writing a lot of JavaScript really. So we set up the server and then super super basic. Um, and then I'm just have like these really just calling the database, right? Like this is how many resolvers we have here, and they're literally just models in the database, right? And see, so that's this just makes it so I'm loving with GraphQL and Express. It makes server, like, my, I spend all my time pretty much doing React. This, I barely spend any time on the back end right now. I set up my models in Postgres and then set this up and then I'm just mostly doing re creating React, creating components, because this is super fast to get set up. Um, so I'm really liking that. So that's why I'm picking this. And this is my certain unnecessary piece, but I like it so much that I have it and necessary, but technically you don't need it. All right. Why am I using Postgres SQL? Why am I using SQL? Well, databases you can use, MongoDB and whatnot. You guys, I'm using Postgres SQL because I feel like I've heard so many good things about it. People are recommending time um, that I just tend to use this a lot. I mean, 99% of the time or 99% of the product, the data is also relational, so it makes more sense to put in this database. I feel like this is the one of the best SQL databases. I to use SQL. And this is like what I feel like is the one of the best. It's better than MySQL. Uh, but take take. Uh, I have not tried those other databases. I've literally only because again, I'm willing to switch to any technology if it stops working for me. If this stops working for me, I'll switch. Working great. Anything I try to do, it works just great. Um, so that's the other thing. I, I usually I I re, I'm sure, uh, people recommend, and then usually. Cause like I st I didn't start with this piece right um, came to like I didn't always use GraphQL but I realized you know I was missing something making servers and I felt like I wanted more so I looked for solutions and then I found GraphQL and I wanted to use it more so like uh, I really like PostgreSQL right now uh, and I feel like they're great um, it's really fast and I like using SQL um, I I I don't mind it at all some people don't like SQL but I like it it's not bad at all. Um, and honestly, theme I just enjoy. I want to enjoy developing, so I use libraries, these frameworks. So that's why um, I haven't spent too much time on NoSQL. And people recommend using SQL if your data is relational. So that's what's working really well. So I don't. I'm not. I'm gonna wait until it's something else. So that's why I picked this stack. Um, and this is using for all web applications right now. If I'm gonna start the stack, I want to use. This guy, these guys right here, I'm just loving them so much. Like I, I'm enjoying this stack. I think it's, it, I feel really productive. Building stuff is robust. Everything's working. The performance is great. I've just been able to do really like 
advanced features like so I've been really liking it um, if you guys like you know I, this is my recommendation for you guys when picking a stack pick the things you enjoy and then if it starts to not work switch it up um, this you can use this if you want to too um, but the process behind picking these languages picking frameworks for this application and for future applications why I'd be picking this um, yeah and then I want to make more videos like this and the next video I'm going to go more into how these pieces actually work together with each other how does Postgres work with Express how does Express work um, and maybe I'll uh, talk about how the data is getting passed through and stuff and just like high, more high level overviews so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions below about the stack or have any questions about uh, why I picked them I'd be happy to answer and let me know what stack you're using I'm curious what you guys use at work whether you like them. what are you using for personal projects um, I'm curious so, and if you're not using GraphQL why aren't you using GraphQL so yeah thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next video